By the time you're watching this video, we are less than half a month away from 2021 and before this insane year of 2020 end, let's look back at the important money lessons that this year taught us. And let's always keep that in mind so that the next time a crisis occurred, we are more prepared financially and we won't suffer as bad as what happened this year. So now, let's begin the rundown. Okay, for this video, let's talk about the important money lesson that 2020 taught us and let's begin with number one. Lesson number one, always have an emergency fund at your disposal. So, ibig lang naman sabihin nito is to always save at least uh, three to six months worth of your monthly expenses into an account na madali mo ma-access immediately. So, it could be a savings account or a money market fund or any highly liquid fund para in case na may emergency mangyari, may bubunutin ka. So yeah, 3 to 6 months worth of uh, expenses is the amount recommended kasi that time window will allow you to find a new job if nawalan ka ng work or kaya naman to create a new source of income. So yeah, having an emergency fund is very essential with or without an emergency kasi we just don't know when an emergency will happen. Lesson number 2, insurance, insurance, insurance. For this one, siguro the notable insurance are your PhilHealth, your HMO, and your hospital income rider ng life insurance mo. So basically, your HMO and PhilHealth will subsidize yung hospital expenses mo, whether inpatient ka or outpatient, para hindi ganun kalaki yung babayaran mo out of your pocket. And then, para naman dun sa hospital income rider na kinuha mo if nag ka nito in your life insurance, makakuha ka per day na nakakonfine ka. Depende sa rate kung magkano yung uh, hospital income rider mo. So, habang nagpapagaling ka, habang nakakonfine ka, it will act as income replacement habang hindi ka pa nakakabalik sa trabaho mo. Another insurance that I wanted to mention is yung car insurance or auto insurance. So, narita naman natin sa balik in the past few weeks or months na madaming kotseng lumubog sa baha. So if meron kang uh, car insurance na merong AOG or Act of God, kahit pa paano makakuha ka ng claim if lumubog sa baha yung sasakyan mo. Lesson number 3, Opportunity Fund. So for this one, magandang example ito is when the stock market drop. So this one, this is a once in a decade opportunity. Okay, if you're able to prepare extra money for this kind of opportunity and nakapag-capitalize ka somewhere in the bottom, you'll probably make at least a 40% gain from your capital in the next two years. So para ma-visualize siya ng mas madali, let's give an example. For example, nakapag-invest ka ng 100,000 somewhere in the bottom, in the next two years, magiging 140,000 na yan. And if nakapag-invest ka naman ng 1 million, that should turn out to be 1.4 million in the next couple of years. Lesson number four, equity protection strategy. So ito naman for this one, if you have equity investments invested before the pandemic happened, whether through stocks yan, mutual funds yan, UITF yan, or VUL yan, malamang sa malamang, bumagsak yung value na investments nyo. There are ways to preserve and protect yung value na equity investment nyo. So if naka-invest kayo sa mutual funds, sa UITF, or VUL, you could have opted na mag-fund switch from equity to bond or money market para hindi bumagsak yung value ng investment nyo. Or kaya naman, pag naka-invest kayo sa stock market, should have sell your position before the market crashes. There are techniques to anticipate market movements such as technical analysis and fundamental analysis. So, aralin nyo na lang yung mga techniques na yun so that the next time na mangyari to, alam nyo na yung gagawin nyo. Lesson number five, keep your expenses at the minimum. I think this is self-explanatory. You could cut down your unnecessary expenses. It could be as simple as cutting down the number of times na bumibili ka ng overpriced coffee or kaya naman, you could just make your own coffee at home or kaya naman, it could be as simple as deleting yung online shopping apps mo in your mobile phone para ma-avoid mo yung overspending and to avoid buying stops na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan. Instead of ordering food, why not learn how to cook food on your own para mabawasan mo yung food expenses mo or kaya naman, you could move back dun sa province mo if available yung option na yun sa'yo since meron naman tayong work from home option ngayon kasi yung mga expenses dito sa province are way 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 cheaper compared sa city. There are a lot more ways to cut down your spending. You just have to be resourceful to find quality cheap alternatives. 
So those are the money lessons na natunan ko this year of 2020. So if meron pa kayong other money lessons na natunan nyo, kindly share them in the comment section down below. And last na lang, I'm planning to make a Q&A video by the end of the year. So if meron kayong questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. And sasagutin ko siya dun sa video ko. And yun lang, you know the drill. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. That's it. Peace out. Bye! Boom!